Justin, you are 23 years old. And you have a college degree in postmodern Portuguese literature. You can't live with your parents forever. You need to get a job. Chill out, Mom. I've got a job. And I'll move to my own place next week. I'm working for a law firm. A law firm? You're going to be a lawyer. Justin, that is a dream come true. I have to tell all of my co-workers and my book club members. And of course my tennis partners. Lawyer? As if. Get real, mother. There are no jobs for lawyers. And law school costs a bundle. No, I got a job with one of the big corporate firms as a social media forensic technician. Social media forensic technician? What's that? It's totally cool. I search Facebook, Twitter, blogs, and other media for slime on the adversary scum. Like, say, the opponent's vice president says he was in New York for a big meeting. But the idiot tweets direct from Rio about the babes on the beach. Or, an employment discrimination plaintiff admits on Facebook that she was always drunk at work. The discoveries are totally cool. There's enough work like that for a job? Like with a salary and benefits? Absolutely. We find more apps every day. Last week we dug up info on LinkedIn to support our clients' claim that former workers were breaching their covenants not to compete. Gotcha, suckers. Really? It seems like an invasion of privacy. Maybe even a little unethical. No way. I'm no Watergate plumber. That was your generation. Everything I look at is public. Or I make friends through Facebook. I've always been good at making friends. Turns out it pays better than Portuguese lit. Can you friend someone who's on the other side of a case? Well, not the opposing party during litigation. A party is represented by an attorney. But we can friend witnesses and other people. The Professional Ethics Committee of the New York City Bar Association says we can even engage in informal discovery, by omission. As long as I tell the truth, I don't have to tell some witness that I am working for an opposing lawyer. Philadelphia takes a different view but, hey, I work in the Big Apple. I guess it's a real job if there are ethics opinions. Sure thing. And finding info about opponents is just one part of the job. I also do defensive stuff for clients. Like workshops to explain the dangers of Facebook. I call them my Where is Waldo workshops. Waldo? Is he the senior partner? No, no. Waldo is the dumb guy with the hat. The one in children's books. Today's Waldo is easy to find. As long as he has a cell phone, Facebook page, or Twitter account. He's leaving tracks. I teach the firm's clients how to keep their private info out of public hands. No one over 30 gets it. That's why they all need a trained social media forensic specialist to guide them. What if the clients have already published information? Do you help them destroy evidence? Of course not. There are rules against destroying evidence that may be relevant to anticipated litigation. We have specialists on electronically stored information to handle all of that. It sounds okay, I guess. But I always dreamed of you as a real courtroom lawyer. Oh, I get into court all the time. I get my biggest blast with jury trials. I go to court with my iPad and check out all the prospective jurors during voir dire. I get all sorts of stuff about what they like and dislike. Say there's an older guy who likes Bruce Springsteen. No way he's voting for a foreign corporation. And once the trial begins, I keep tabs on the jurors. You'd be surprised how many of those bozos tweet about the case. Voir dear, covenants not to compete. At least you sound a little like a lawyer. I guess it's good enough. I'll start calling all my friends, letting them know about my son the social media forensic specialist. Whatever. Now, could you move away from the fridge? I need another beer.